Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and then out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing. And it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Big. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Right hand punches the clinch. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big power shot there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Good exchange there inside. And they separate. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Let's get some offense. the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit Big head kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, single tie here. Oh, 
big head kick lands. Lee gets in the clinch yet again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And both guys really throwing with authority. He is all about that left kick to the body. Right hand upstairs. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Way to mix it up. Unbelievable elbow land. Big kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. And that one certainly found the target. It's such a fast leg kick. Single collar tie now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from his Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Got the single collar tie. Oh, big elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. There's no tell on that leg. Continues to eat power shots here. Oh, nice. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land this beautiful punch to the head. Eats the elbow there. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Nice kick. These guys are going at him. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Oh, collar tie. Lands a switch knee. Real sneaky body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 15 seconds. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch from the clinch. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. 
Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Lee's back in side control. Under three minutes now remain in round two. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Back to the feet now. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix it. Misses again with a right punch. Head kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lou. Look at the angle of that nice body. Blocks the shot. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Wow. Right hand upstairs. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice. Great diversity in all. Late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Looking to land the leg kick now. Nice punch by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, affected <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but this a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. All right, that's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights over those five minutes. Really a clinic when it comes to the ground and pound. Yeah, man, this is what you're taught. When you're learning to become a ground and pound fighter, you want to do it exactly like he did. Gain posture, have height, control hands and wrists, land strikes, don't throw too many, throw just enough control, throw again control. He did it perfectly.
Sheik looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back and forth we go! Oh, can't put any weight on it. Shot is blocked. Way to hide that leg kick. Strong straight left there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Duffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Pretty good right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Effective strike there by Lee. There's no kill on that leg kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Strike attempt there is blocked. Again, back into this position. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Relax, relax. Ooh, head kick lands. is hurt. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Back and forth we go. Head kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. And there it is. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Yeah, great job executing the submission of that fight. Really strong work. You can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there. Great technique to set up the finish. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 29 seconds of round number three. I'm going to minimize tap out due to a guillotine choke. Bruce, the dragon! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find 